We are home and it's very very warm i have just gone through my wardrobe this is actually after going through my wardrobe i can actually move clothes so those are the things that i am most likely to wear i've got a bunch of things that i'm not going to wear so much they can go in a bag and be sucked up small and put in the loft and i've got some things to donate here that are just either are too small or i just don't wear anymore bought this ages ago uh, from robert dyers so i'm going to open this up and then put those clothes in it and put them up in the loft Now I've made the mistake before of putting them somewhere for quite some time in a small space and then finding out that they've slowly expanded again and I couldn't get them back out. That was interesting. Link, it's your gotcha day today. Yours is in a couple of months, but it's his gotcha day. It's a gotcha day. What do you think I got for you? Sit, 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 sit. I got you. Ah, ah, ah. No, Timmy, I got this for Link. You can have that one, yes. I did get you some, no. Oh, okay. Well, either way, this one is actually yours. And this one is yours. But I suspect you'll swap and destroy and what have you. Happy gotcha day, Link. Happy gotcha day. A whole year. What's this? What's this? You want them both, do you? You're having that one, you're having that one. 
You can have whichever you like. We won't talk about the things that he destroyed while we were out. Two things. One that I made was, was a needle felted doll. And the other thing was a very nice um, needle felted hedgehog that somebody bought me. So we won't discuss that. That was chewed up all over the bedroom and all over the lounge. Have you gone back to that one again? Timmy's looking a bit like, well, what, what do you want? Make your mind up. There's this one here, look. Timmy, do you want that one? I think you won that one, Timmy. In fairness, he was taking everything you had, so, you know, he wouldn't make up his mind, would he? I'm going to start this with the clay pebbles in the bottom it will give it a nice little layer from the outside my idea being I put the clay pebbles in then I put some of the soil this is soil ninja um, it's not a bad price actually I think that was I want to say about 15 pound maybe for that and those were five pound 49 and that was six pounds something I think that's the moss that I'm going to put on the top around the plants to keep the moisture in. Um, these are some of the plants that I have bought. I'm just giving them a bit of a soak before I put them in. So these are some of the ones that we've rescued. That one's looking a little bit sad, actually. I think it's got caught on something by the look of it. So, um, But it's coming up nice. So I'll get rid of some of those leaves. And then this one here, it's still got marks on those old leaves, but it's, it's doing okay. It's looking stronger than it was. Uh, my sister gave me that one and this is another one my sister gave me but it's not looking very happy and I'm not quite sure why I've not treated it any different to the other ones hmm first attempt I made a mistake I put too much drainage in the bottom so there wasn't quite enough soil so yeah that was a bit of a learning curve on that one I'll see how it looks I mean these are all my starting ideas so you know I will learn as I go radio I'm hoping they will look nicer once I've got them going for a bit, because I've just, I've broken a bit of that one, trying to get it in. It's not as easy as it looks. That one's not too bad. I tried to layer that one sort of at an angle, it didn't work. There's lots of little plants in there and some slate. And then this one, I've just gone for that very natural effect. So I'm going to find places for them to go and then we'll just see how they do, I think. I'm going to clean the kitchen windowsill. And some of them can probably sit on there. This one that my mum gave me is going to go on the windowsill because it's not in something safe and I know that the dogs will give it a munch. I'm going to give it a quick water. Whoop. It just drain for a minute. And then it can go on the windowsill somewhere with those ones. Uh, 
Where did I put the other one? Got the other one somewhere. Oh, that's over there. Um, I think I might put it on the windowsill. I don't know. We'll see. At the moment, I'm just going through filing. This is what I do, you see. I never end up staying in one spot. I'm going through filing all of my forms for the house sits and pet sits and dog walking and stuff that I do and getting them all in the folders and this has just been sitting there waiting for ages to be filed um, for upcoming jobs and things like that so yeah I need to crack on with that and then then need to stick little tabs on each one so I know when each new uh, set of forms start filing filed I've got more grass seed from the range. I'm going to sprinkle a bit more in here. I've got these pots, which are nicer than those just standard brown pots. And I'm going to put them, I have noticed there aren't any holes in the bottom. I could probably make a hole in the bottom like I have done with my others. I probably need to make a hole, otherwise it'll be ruined to be fair um because whatever i put in will just get flooded and that's no good but they've got like a terracotta glazed effect going on and they were 4.99 each from aldi whoops there you go they've got bigger ones that were 7.99 they were 36 centimeters the others but i went for those ones okay these are about to flower and they're proving quite difficult to pull out at this point so i'm kind of stuck i should have started this job sooner I am stuck waiting for these to do what they do. They're beautiful, so I don't want to mess with them too much. I've managed to get some into this pot, and I'm hoping they will perk up. I've thrown another couple of bulbs in there. Uh, I managed to get this aquilegia out, and I've put that in a pot. Um, this has got bulbs in it, uh, and I need to just fill up this water bowl for But This is really cool. The seed packet I bought, the Johnson seeds, come with a little tag for you to stick in your in your uh, seed trays. That's a really nifty idea. Right, there we go. This is going to be lettuce on this t these two rows because I'm not going to grow a lot of veg this year because I'm just not around to tend it. But lettuces will save us a lot of money in goose food. can't actually see you because you're you're so dark in colour and everything behind you is so bright. Hello. Thanks. I'm going to do a bit of editing because I'm not sure if you've got a video for this evening. So that's probably the next thing on my list at nearly five o'clock. Oh my goodness. Actually, I should really be going to feed the cat and then... I'll do a bit of editing first, then I'll go feed the cat, and then I've got to go and clean out the sheep. And I need to go and walk Jesse Dog, and I'll take these guys with me as well, and we can go do walking together. You little buggers is all I can say. They probably don't mind you in their garden, so stay there. <laughs> can you see Christopher the cat? He's really, he really that, interested. <laughs> well, so far, Salem hasn't brought a peacock home, and Salem's pretty good at catching most things. I'm here to clear up Claude's food and provide Sir Claude with fresh food. Claude? Hello? Meow. I'm not letting him out today because I've got the dogs in the car. I'm in a bit of a rush. I know, I'm sorry, buddy. To call you Lord Claude, won't we? Lord Claude. I haven't got time, I'm afraid, today for you to be outside and me not being able to get you back in again. Yesterday you were being a bit of a pain. You're, usually you're really good, but I've got a lot to do and I can't risk it. Been caught out before on that one, haven't we? Not with you, but another cat. Right, there's your food, my friend. New park, new smells. Although, to be fair, everything smells like cow poo right now. 
It's either rapeseed or cow poo I can smell, which, to be fair, I'm not minding either of them. It's very countryfied. If oh, you don't that kick is so it, clever. Chase it. You've got to kick it now. Oh, oh, that was a good one. I love how th she's just worked out there. You could just go to the edge, yeah, and then roll it off the edge. Kick it. You're a smart cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Just here constantly, then that's all I spend my time doing. Good girl, Jessie. Hi, girls. I am currently waiting for the water to fill up. I turned around and I have a visitor. She's giving you a biscuit, haven't I? I'll take a biscuit over to everyone else in a minute. Those flowers are coming along beautifully. I finally got round to cooking a goose egg and I know it's very random. I'm having plain toast with butter and just plain bread with butter as well because I just wanted it. Anyway, I'm going to taste this. It's slightly more opaque, which I don't know if you can really see than a chicken egg. very creamy. Sticks to your teeth. It's very nice. Tastes like a like an egg. But very slightly thicker. Um, I've been told goose eggs are very good for making cakes, I think it was. Mm. 